So today we're going to solve another um, indeterminate continuous beam using moment distribution method. So this is my sample problem number three. Okay, so we are given a continuous beam here with three spans. Um, fix at A, roller at B, roller at C, and free end at D. So in this case, so I want to, to discuss a problem wherein we have an overhang here with uniform load of 10 kN per meter and we have a 30 kN at the free end. Okay, the first step is to uh, solve for the stiffness K. Okay, so let's start with the stiffness. Okay, stiffness. <clears throat> okay, so considering relative stiffness, let's say for member AB, um, that would be um, I over L. So that would be I over 6 meters. How about for stiffness uh, BC? Okay. For stiffness BC, it would be I over L. So that would be I over 9. Okay. Now, for member CD, um, so let's take advantage of member CD. Since we know that the moment at, <clears throat> at D, free end, and there's no external moment applied at point D, so the moment there, okay, so the moment there, which is, uh, say, uh, MDC, we know that it is zero. Okay? While, what would be the moment end moment here so let's say a uh, moment at cd diba yung moment at cd since this is determinate naka overhang so the moment here would just be the force 30 times distance of 4 so 30 times 4 so that would be 120 120 kilonewton meter so that means the mem or the member end moments on CD are already determined. So 120, that is uh, counterclockwise, so that would be positive. And the moment and moment here is zero. Okay, so taking advantage of the end moments here, so when we use MDM here, so we will just write the end moments here dun sa FEM. So this is 120. And this is zero. So when I so when I apply, so that means the moment from uh, from here to the final moment here is also 120. Likewise for here, zero. It, it at the end it would be also zero. So meaning I could just, we could uh, get rid of this. Likewise, this one. So we could get rid of that up to the final moment. Okay, so kumbaga tapos na yung part dito. So di bali ang EMDM na lang natin would be for members AB and BC na lang. Okay, again, this is due to the uh, we, we, we know already the member and moments on member CD. Okay. So, going back again. So, for the stiffness. So, we just have to re uh, determine the stiffness for A, B, and B, C. Again, for A, B, it's I over 6. B, C is I over um, 9. Now, we cannot uh, modify the stiffness on member B, C. Because there is a moment at that point. Yung modification of stiffness, yung modified stiffness, yung minimultiply natin ng 3 fourths or 0.75 is only applicable kapag ka yung member is meron siyang hinge or roller sa dulo na kung saan yung moment doon is zero. Eto naman, ang moment dito hindi naman zero eh. Diba? May moment naman at this point eh. So, hindi, hindi siya applicable yung modified stiffness here. So, we will just stick to the relative stiffness. Okay, so, so to make this whole number, so you get the multiples of 6 and 9. So I believe, so we could let um, I 
be say 18. So this would be say 18 over 6 is 3. Ito naman, 18 over 9 is 2. Okay, so this is 3 and this is 2. So these are the stiffnesses. Now, next is the distribution factor. So, what are the distribution factors? So, DFs. Okay, so the DF here on member AB, again, this is fixed, diba? So, therefore, that is 0. Kasi fix end. Next, how about the DF on BA? DF on BA. So, ano ulit ang definition ng DF natin? DF is just the stiffness divided by the summation of the stiffness at a joint. So, for BA, so here is BA, so the stiffness there is 3, divided by the stiffness at a joint, so 3 and 2. 3 and 2, so that's 3 over 5. So, 3 over 5 is 0.6. Next, what's the DF? So, this is 0. This is 0.6. Here, the DF on BC here is 2. Okay, it's 2 divided by the summation at that joint. So, 2 over, over um, 3 plus 2. So, that's 2 over 5. So, oh, that's 0 0.4. So, it's point. For, um, dapat ang summation ng DF at the joint is always equal to 1. So, that's one way of checking your DFs. Okay? The, the summation of the DFs in a joint is equal to 1. Okay, how about here? What's the DF here? So, that would be the DF on CB. Okay, what's the DF on CB? The DF on CB is 2. <coughs> or, uh, since this is a, a roller and we <coughs> we disregarded the effect of here in terms of MDM so parang dulo na rin siya and that is a hinge support so therefore the DF there would be 1 ok so ok so 1 next is the fixed end moment so, what are the fixed end moments? F, E, M, S. Okay. So, for this case, uh, the fixed end moment here, walang load. So, 0. 0. Okay. Ang fixed end moment dito, due to uniform load. Ano yung uniform load doon? Diba? So, due to uniform load, W, L, counter, ito clockwise, WL square over 12 positive ito naman negative WL square over 12 what is WL square over 12 W is 10 uniform load the length is 9 square over 12 ok so 10 times 9 square over 12 so that's 67.5 yung FEM 67.5 so this is positive 67.5 negative 67.5 again so that's 120 and then that's 0 ok so let's start with the balance at joint so how do we get the balance at joint again so balance moment at a joint is equal to the, the, the unbalanced moment unbalanced moment at a joint times the negative of the DF ok so yan yung pagkuha ng balance at a joint so how do we do that here so so this is 0 pa rin 0 times the negative of 0 0 so here that balance moment here is 0 tsaka plus 67.5 so 67.5 times the negative of 0 0.6 times the negative of 0 0.6 negative of 0.6 so, yun. so we got um, negative 40.5 40 
while here it's 67.5 then balance moment times the negative of 0.4 times negative of 0.4 so Sixty-seven point five times the negative of point four, so that's negative twenty-seven. Here, the unbalanced moment here here is one twenty. It's a negative sixty-seven point five. One twenty minus sixty-seven point five. The unbalanced moment is fifty-two point five. Fifty-two point five times the negative of one times the negative of one. So that would be negative fifty-two. Dito wala na tayong gagawin. No? So, wala na tayong ilalagay dyan. Diretso na yan. Okay, next is the carryover moment. So, how do we do the carryover moment? So, okay, so ganyan lang yan. Carryover, one half. So, 0 divided by 2 is 0. Negative 40.5 divided by 2 is negative 20.25. Okay. The negative 27 divided by 2, it's negative 13.5. That's negative 52.5 um, divided by 2, we got negative 26.25. Okay, so ano yung unbalanced moment? Negative 26. So malayo pa sa 0. So dere-derecho pa ulit tayo dyan. So next is the balance of the joint. Negative 20 balance, unbalanced moment times the negative of 0. So, 0 lang to. Okay, ito naman, negative 26.25. Negative 26.25, unbalanced moment, times the negative of the F. Times negative of 0.6. So, this is 15.75. So, again, the unbalanced moment at joint B is 0 and negative 26. So, that's negative 26.25. For the balance at joint at this point would be negative 26.25 times the negative of 0.6. So that would be 15.75. Then, uh, negative 26.25 times the negative of 0.4, that would give us 10.5. Okay? Then, what well, about for this one? Uh, the unbalanced moment is negative 13.5 times the negative of 1. It would be positive 13.5. So this is now the balance at the joint. Now, so next is to, to compute for the carryover moment. So again, so we uh, we cross over this one. So 0, it would become uh, 0. 1575 divided by 2, it would be 7.875. Likewise, on this side, 10.5 divided by 2, it would give you 5.25. Then 13.5 divided by 2, it would give you 6.75. So, as you can see, for this uh, carryover moment, the unbalanced moment is 0 at 675. So, 675, medyo malaki pa siya. So, we will continue pa rin no? yung COM natin. So, again, kailan tayo mag-stop mag-COM? Kapag kayong unbalanced moment na natin dito at a joint would be uh, near 0. Okay? So, dito medyo malayo pa, 6.75. So, we do it again. So, we try again, we calculate for the balance at joint. Again, this one. And this would be the COM, balance at joint, uh, COM. So, di na diretso, diretso ka na lang. So, hindi ko na inaisa-isa para mabilis. So, uh, at this point, the unbalanced moment is 0.6. Okay? 0.6. So, going further, um, negative 0.2 na lang. Going further, naging uh, 0.06. So, medyo malapit na, no? So, then going further, naging 0.02. 0.02. So, I'll continue here. So, at this point, uh, the unbalanced moment now is point, uh, negative 0 0.0263. So, uh, isa pa, no? hindi pa kasi nag 0, 0 something tayo. So, again, the unbalanced moment here is uh, point zero 0.02 times the negative of DF. Again, the DF here is 0. So, it would just be 0. So, for this case, the unbalanced moment would be 0 and negative, negative 0 0.02. Um, 6, 3. So, this is the unbalanced moment here times the negative of the DF. The negative of DF is negative 0.6 times negative 0.6. So, that is uh, 0 0.0158. Uh, uh, so, for decimal places. Tapos, pagka negative 0.4 naman times negative 0.4. So, that gives us 
0.0105. So, dito naman, negative 0.01 times the negative of the F, negative 1, it would be positive, positive 0.0135. Okay? So, so, ito yun. So, then, we calculate for the COM again. So, the COM here is 0. Okay, so this one, uh, 0 0.0158, 0 0.0158 divided by 2. So that is um, 0 0.0079. Ayun, nag 0 0.0079. Uh, for this case, uh, for this case, so, ito, 0 0.0105 divided by 2. This gives us <coughs> 0 0.0053. Tapos dito naman, that is 0 0.0135, 0 0.0135 divided by 2. So it gives us 0 0.0068. Okay? So as you can see from here, the unbalanced moment now is 0 at saka 0 0.0068. So... Kung susundin natin yung, uh, uh, yung sinet nating uh, rule kung hanggang sa ang COM, kapag kayong unbalanced moment na is nag 0.00 something, so we could now stop there from the last moment of COM. So finally, so how do we solve for the final moment? So we just get the summation from the fixed end moment from here hanggang dun sa COM. Okay, so we're just going to sum it up. So... Pag ginawa natin siya, say for joint A, so 0, 0, so negative 20.25 plus 7.875 minus 2.025 plus 0.7875 minus 0.2025 plus 0.0788 then minus 0.0203 and finally, pa, plus 0 0.0079. So, the summation is negative 13. Uh, 7484. Ah, it's sorry. So, that's the final moment at joint uh, A. How about for BA? So, we get the summation again from if FEM. So, 0, negative 40.5 plus 15.75 minus 4.05 plus 1.575 minus 0.405 plus 0.1575 minus 0.0405 plus 0 0.0158 so the summation is negative 27.4972 okay then next for this naman for BC naman again from positive 67 67.5 dire dire add mo yan pag kasi nam up mo lahat yan it would give you 27.504 Positive 27.504. Then, if we sum up naman for uh, CB, for CB, so from negative 67.5 hanggang uh, 0 0.0053, the, the summation of that would give us negative 119.994. Four seven, so that's uh, roughly the same with the one twenty. Okay, so again for C D we have one twenty, and for for uh, D C we have zero. So finally, so if we sum summarize the answers, so what is the moment at A? So the moment at A is uh, thirteen point seventy four. Thirteen point seventy four eighty six. That's kilonewton. Meter. So, what is the true uh, sign of the moment at A? 
So, this is negative. So, that means uh, clockwise, no? So, negative to. So, that means it should be uh, clockwise. So, clockwise. So, if that is clockwise, so, anong ginagawa niya dun sa member AB? It make the beam smile or sad? Diba? Uh, this one. So, lumulundo siyang ganun. So, it makes the beam uh, happy. So, that would be a positive moment. How about for moment at B? The moment at B would be equal to 27.5. So, 27.5. That's kilonewton meter. So, ano ang true uh, sign ng moment sa B? Okay. So, if you will look at this, this is negative 27. Negative 27, ito siya. Negative, that means clockwise. So, pag ganyan. So, kung pag ganyan yung direction niya, so, it makes the beam Diba? Sad face. So, considering this one, direction, it makes the beam sad face. Kaya, dapat negative to. Ganun din. Kung ito yung consider mo, kunwari, ito 27, positive naman to. Diba? Positive 27. So, pagka positive 27, nandito siya. Positive means counterclockwise. Pag ganyan. So, kung pag ganyan yung moment mo, considering BC, what, anong ginagawa niya sa beam? Diba ginagawa niyang sad face din? So, kung sad face siya, negative pa rin ang moment sa B. How about moment sa C? Okay, ang moment sa C naman is negative uh, 120. So, 120, that's kilonewton uh, meter. Okay? So, ano ang true sign ng moment sa C? Kung ito ang titignan mo, negative siya. Negative 120. Negative 120.